Hi guys, John Burr for the Pride here, and I am in the Chief Constable's office. I'm not nervous in the slightest. And I'm joined by Chief Constable Andy Cook to talk about Liverpool Pride. Hello. So, why, why is it important for the police, Merseyside Police, to support Liverpool Pride? Quite simply, Merseyside Police are part of the Merseyside community. We want everyone who works for Merseyside Police to be themselves. We want them to enjoy being a part of Merseyside Police. We want them to enjoy protecting the public as they do on a daily basis. And we want to engage different people to do that who represent our communities. We are proud of our approach of both our LGBT colleagues and our LGBT allies, many of whom you'll see a pride on, on Saturday, marching on Saturday. We want the best for this city and we'll do our best to make sure that we keep everyone safe. Last year there was about 140 people mm -hmm. in the police contingent. There's over 200 this year, which is amazing. And right now you've got the Rainbow Epilepsy. Epaulets, 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 as well as the Pride car has now been relaunched. So it's all this visibility. Why, why do you think it's important to have be visible? These are just signs and symbols on their own. What do they mean? Not a lot without the, the right intention that sits behind them. These aren't just here for one day. We use it every day of the year for a reason, because we want to show that we are a diverse employer. We are representative of our, of our communities. Uh, and we want to put a big sign across Merseyside, as we have when we light up headquarters with the rainbow colours. We have a pride in pride, I think it's fair to say. Uh, that's why I'll be there myself on Saturday marching with over 200 Merseyside police uh, members of staff. The smile never left my face last year. It was a fantastic occasion, and I've been looking forward to this year for a while now. It's very poignant as today itself is 50 years since the partial decriminalisation mm -hmm. of homosexuality in the UK. When you think about that and you think the relationships between the police and the LGBT community, it's come leaps and bounds, especially when you've got, I've got the chief council next to me wearing rainbows. It has. I mean, look, we're still not perfect, but policing has moved on. In 20 years, we've moved on 100 years. Criminalisation of homosexuality, absolutely ridiculous. Decriminalisation, fantastic. Now, part of living in Merseyside, no difference. Let's all live together. Let's get on together. Let's make this city and this region a great place to be. And that was an amazing way to end it. Thank you very much, Andy Cook, for your time.